the country's in full damage control. The media is trying its best to put out the fire before it goes any further. But again, the fire has gone too further. Um, because everybody knows that Catherine Sapone was biased, that you was basically just favouring somebody. Um, and she will take up the job now. And you probably have thought she had a little do, they had a little do in a five star hotel. Who's paying for it? You and I, the taxpayer, obviously. The tarnish still was there, Leo was there. Um, all of probably's cronies were there too. And, and Fortune Ireland says the only thing that should be going on in a venue is a wedding, or uh, it's basically just a wedding. Um, and there were 50 people there. Um, and then they say confirmations and communions are bigger ways. And like how there was social distancing and masks and separate tables. Like how there was. Like how there was. Like in the media are trying their best. You know, like you, you should look at the Irish media now just to see how biased they are. Because they're trying their best to protect Leo. Because, you know, at the end of the day, Leo's been telling us for the last few months, it's too dangerous to do this, it's too dangerous to do that, everybody's going to die if you don't do this. Um, and, the, and, you know, they already went and done it, and, you know, we have to pay for probably that. Um, and Captain Sapone, at the end of the day, will get her job, so... <laughs> Very fancy. Um, and again, freedom of expression, I could think of many people we could put um, as that war. Um, I don't even know what Captain Sapone knows that, what, is, what that is, apart from getting a big wage. But yeah, it's, it's a great country, don't you know? Um, like yeah, I could go on. Like we look up some of the stuff here now, but Jesus Christ, um, for child and as I said, um, like you know, it's obviously breaking the COVID rules. It's obviously breaking their own guidelines. It's not great. They're breaking their own guidelines. Um, and if we and you and I done it, the girls would be on with batons and beating us out the door. Um, but anyway. So this is before she was appointed. She basically had a big do in a five star hotel. Who would be paying for it? You and me. Um, the tax was not great. Um, multiple tables broke. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was. Gatherings were six days. Gathered six days before she was um before it was announced. Um, like you know, we can see the media here just trying to do damage control. Like literally, I I looking at the Irish Independent here. And you could just see them trying to do uh, damage control. In a statement to RT News 1, former cabinet minister, please contact the hotel. She wasn't going to give us this. She was like, please contact them. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to the peasants, the Irish peasants. They don't dissolve any answers. You know, I'm, I'm more superior than them. The, the government, we, we, we're, we're too superior. Fine Gael, we're too superior to talk to the peasants. And why you know, we should get out for doing things. And she just basically said, go to the hotel. And asked the hotel, basically just saying to the hotel, fuck you, so you answer the questions. I couldn't care less. I'm going for freedom of expression. I couldn't care less what the peasants think. Um, more or less what Captain Sabone's thing was saying in her head. Um, so, you know, I don't know what they're going to... I don't know how they can make up this Mickey Mouse shit the media are saying. Oh, it's in line with the government guidelines. Like, this is what they're saying here. Um, doing damage control. Um, again... Um, fifty friends, private colleagues, former colleagues, including the T-shirt, tarnish stuff. Sorry. Um. So the guidelines are for we open a guest house to sites and organise indoor are not permitted unless weddings or non-social meetings, uh, or training or educational purposes. As as operation business business hours. Um, and obviously that's none of the above. That's none of the above. It's just a do. It's just a nice do, a nice party for them, like all tea always has. Um. <laughs> But yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great country. And as one, the Archbishop of Dublin said, you know, if they were allowed to do that, why is comedians and confirmation allowed? Is it one rule for the and another rule for the other, is it? Um, but I think we all know that. We've seen golf get, apparently, we don't matter. The peasants of Ireland, the taxpayer, doesn't matter. Um, and so as long as they have that fun, that's all they care about. Um, in a luxury five-star hotel tended by friends and civil servants and politicians. Isn't that very great? Civil servants are very high up civil servants and politicians. It's funny how they decided to give her the role, isn't it? It's very funny. Um, say, like, separate that tables off six. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was separated than tables. I'm sure we be I trust the media. Don't you trust the media? Um, the t shirt goes out of an event, whatever, tarnished us. I mean, that t shirt, but we all know he's fucking calling the shots, anyway. He told me, like, fuck it, like, it's just, like, it's the damage control. Like, literally, the media here is just going to full damage control. <laughs> yeah, like, they're literally trying to give Fina Gear the best possible luck in life here. <laughs> but the taxpayer for the year, she will, and, you know, she's not going to take the role now. Um, but, yeah, they just basically go on and on and on and on, and on trying to defend Catherine's opponent as much as they can. Um, isn't it a great, it's a great country. 
Um, don't you know? Don't you know? It's a just. It's just a great country. <laughs> um, but yeah, great. Isn't it just great? It's just fucking great. Um, give me for my language, but you have to laugh. You just really have to laugh. Um, you just you really have to just laugh. You have to. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't make it up. You couldn't make it up. Like you can see everybody in the comments under this article in the Irish Independent. Even though they're trying to have it very much in the Irish Independent and OT and everything, the OTs will go ahead and have to cover this. They're trying the best to whitewash you, to brainwash you, saying, "Oh, look at they need a bit of fun. They need a bit of fun in life. They they have no fun. You know, you and I, we're the peasants. We don't deserve any fun. We just walk hours and hours a day to make sure these the 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 political elite have the back pocket to have the money in the back pocket." Um, and Orty's basically saying, you don't matter, as long as the political leader having a great time, as long as we get our funding, that's all that matters. Like, I, I'm losing the plot. <laughs> I'm losing the plot here. Um, but yeah, you can see this, like, Fort Ireland, this person's treating a Fort Ireland here. He's saying they wanted to have uh, a kid's birthday party in a, in a, in a West Shot. Um, and it wasn't allowed. And they only allowed, they only wanted 20 people there. Um, and it wasn't allowed. The, the West Shot wasn't allowed, but the West Shot wasn't allowed. The same was get the guidelines and they only said it was for weddings and um, again unless fucking Catherine's poems getting married to Leo um, I don't know like unless that's the fucking job here um, it's just it's just like fucking it's like, why, why like what like it's just, it's just, <laughs> like you know they really have put themselves into a, a shit pit here the government the government um, and we're all in this together, don't you know? I I'm really losing the plot here, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, um, you know, I'm just having a great laugh at this because, you know, what the media is always like, you know, everybody's in the same boat. And you can just see the media trying to defend these people. You have Gavin Wiley trying to defend, and then we have the whole lot of them out in arms trying to defend the government as much as humanly possible, toning the government's line, whatever they can do. And you have them just disappear into the uh, to, into a pothole when asked a question. Like Captain Spone should probably be to be honest, probably probably open for the judge at the moment for why she's organising an event um due to the COVID guidelines and due to the spread of the Delta variant. Again, the oh, Doctor Tony Hulahan and Nefford and the rest of them always every time there's any kind of protest or anything like that that doesn't suit their their narrative. Always like the Delta variant's got to kill all these people. They, she could have killed many of the staff there. She could have killed many of the people there. And again, you know, we need to have a risk assessment here. The, the National Public Health Emergency team need to have a risk assessment on how dangerous this effect was. It could have risked lives. The same as Stephen Donnelly said about communions and confirmations in churches. This risked lives. We could have lost poor Leo. We could have lost all these members of government and all these civil servants. Like It would have been a, it would have been a terrible experience for the country. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's a huge risk to take in a national emergency. True to the death of variant, it is a very extreme risk. We meet that the fucking, I don't know what you call. Him. We meet that fucking where the World Economic Forum doctor here just the fucking talks. <laughs> like I'm having a great laugh here, just laughing this, because they're doing it every day of the week. Don't you know it? They're doing it every day of the week. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, it's a great country. That's all I'm gonna say.